it's a good place to start with a smile. Hello and welcome to this new video, thank you for being here. And today we'll be talking about WordPress. Uh, for some reason, when we say WordPress, in, especially when you mention it in, in the CV, it's taken like something that is not really valuable, it's not that good things to do and to put into your CV and to your career. But um, the point or the fact that WordPress is a big, big word, yeah, there is a part of simple user who can install WordPress, insert posters and all do that administration stuff yeah it's everybody can do it they don't need uh, to uh, to be a coder to know anything about programming but the fact that wordpress is also uh, an iceberg yeah so you, uh, there is theme there is plugin there is hoax there is actions there is plenty plenty of stuff and uh, people just disregard that so many times when i put WordPress into my CV, like a recruiter does ignore that point. They said, oh, WordPress, it's like, a, it's a bullshit, man. It's not a bullshit, it's a big word and it does really uh, deserve um, an accent on it. And it does really deserve to put it in the spotlight because it's a big word, solid CMS, and we need to really learn about it and how to code things on it. And this is the purpose of this video. So today's video will be using the contact form 7 to generate post, to generate what? PDFs. Okay, so imagine that user inserting his name and some details about him and he would like to pass any, I don't know, request or something like that. And <clears throat> you'd like to allow him, the, give him the possibility to save a PDF file of these inputs. Then it's came this video. It's for you if you're interested. Okay. I think I have to stop talking and just jump into a computer. Okay, see you in a computer. Okay, welcome back. So, the first step is to create a form and it's pretty simple using the contact form 7. So, all you have to do is move him back to the contact here where the contact form 7 does take actions and go create new form or add a new or click here and define your stuff so what is special on my form is that I added this button I assigned an ID and especially a very important things to do is to type in it into a button elsewhere it will be taken it will be, it will be treated as a submit button okay and just add the label right here okay the next thing is to place this uh, short code into any page you would like to display this form on. So moving to pages, add the new, and let me just call it, um, I don't know, like PDF download. All right, and right here, just paste it. And as you see here, the new uh, editor of WordPress does the tackle that you are pasting a short code right there okay and just hit publish publish and all is good for the page so we have this form with uh, the label title and all that stuff and we have this uh extended button called get pdf okay nothing will happen for this button when we do click it that's why we need to move back to our GS javascript file for me i just call it main.js and i did added a listener or an event listener or what is the word an event listener yes so when i do click i have to read the inputs of this form you may say you could use the serializer of um jquery i will say i'm not a big fan of the jquery so i want uh, waste time on that especially this is a tutorial video not like production stuff okay so right here I'm just getting the two or three actually I have to also get the subject and the the what the message so just duplicate this line and I will set this one to here and I'll set this to a subject okay then also I'll take the message to store it okay great and just also duplicate this line great and this become a message or form message whatever form submit okay so the next thing after getting this input getting the inputs getting inputs we will be doing an Ajax call, or well, actually it's not an Ajax, but instead it will be a redirection. 
Because why? Right here, some people might suggest the use of hoax of um, of the the plugin itself. There is a website really doing good job on listing all these hooks possible for uh, the contact form 7 but the problem here thought we cannot really rely on these hooks because at certain point we need to allow the user to download this file so we cannot or somehow we cannot return a pdf through ajax okay we won't get into the complexity of that we will go the easy way, which is redirecting the user to a specific page and we set the header of that page to a PDF. So let's go ahead and do that. So right here, I'm just getting the um, the Ajax, Ajax URL, which is, uh, let me just display that in the console that you could see it. So if I do, yeah, so this is actually the admin Ajax uh, address. This is will be used as a, uh, would be redirecting the user to that URL with some parameters. Okay, so right here I'm doing Windows href this URL. I'm using the string interpolation right here with this back text and actually I'm setting to get PDF and we'll be using this later inside the function.php and we are also passing these info uh, as the user said them so for name subject etc so I'll go ahead and define the subject so the subject will be form subject and sorry for that noise and right here, I will do the message equal to dollar message. Pretty good. Okay, now we could test that. So if I just refresh this page and hit submit, look what happened. I am redirected. Oh, actually, I have to refresh because uh, my GS file is kind of cached, so I don't want to see the, any changes. But now if I do submit, I have the name, the email, the subject, and the message are now empty for sure because I don't have anything defined right there. Okay, so what I'm going to do now that I'll be taking this action and moving to functions.php and right there I'll be using the hooks from WordPress. So I'll do added actions and inside the action I will do WP Ajax. WP ajax and right here the action and i believe you guess it right here i'll be putting that action that will be submitted with the form okay and we'll be having a callback function as we do in javascript so it will be handling the process and the stuff that will be uh, associated to this okay so also you may use for no for anonymous user, you could use no prev this one and paste that. So this will make sure that your script will be executed whether user is connected or not. And this will, uh, yeah. So will uh, if you, if you adapt and to avoid any repetition of the code, inst instead of defining a local anonymous function, I will do function handle PDF download. Okay great then simply i'll be calling this function twice for each um for each like uh, action whether connected or not okay that makes sense now perfect we could add a beautiful command like uh, handle pdf pdf generation whatever you could type whatever you want and there you go so to make sure that everything is fine i will do if dollar post or get depending or oh, generally this is a get since we are redirecting the stuff so i will do if it's a dollar get okay just i forgot to type if if get and get what so let's suppose get pdf so then let me just for dump for dump that dollar get perfect this actually maybe um, there is no reason to put it because we won't we will not execute this function only once we have this get PDF. All right, but anyway, we could just try that. So now if I do hit that, let me just refresh that again. 
if you said get PDF, what is the action? Ah, sorry, it's action. So if action actually equal equal to get PDF, then there you go. I'm having my object displayed correctly. Let's go ahead and fill some inputs. So my name will be Alwi Mohammed Habib and my email. Oops, my my art or oh, it's not this one actually. Habib at yahoo.com and the subject test pdf generation and hello from planet earth great now get the pdf does submit correctly i'm uh, having my object now it's time to include the f pdf into our work so we have to go simply to f pdf website fpdf.org and from there just hit the download right here and there is a plenty of stuff Arabic I don't know what is this but you can just check it and go ahead check the zip or the tgz file and download it and for my case I just download it and I place it under the theme folder and I call it fpdf under the inc folder and everything is fine simple as that Okay, the next mission is to include this FPDF. So I will do require once. I could just place it right there. Require once and do um, so normally we are in the same folder. So I'll do INC, oops, INC slash FPDF slash FPDF dot PHP. Okay. Now I'd like to go back to the FPDF website and drag a simple code that, uh, yeah, just a minimal example. I will simply copy this three or four line of code. So this will allow me to display and generate a PDF file. Let's go ahead and just refresh the page and to see it. Okay, we run into trouble because something is wrong here. I would like to get um, the PHP error reporting that allow me to display the errors i know we could do that another way by enabling the debug mode but for some reason sometimes this not working correctly with uh, the current apache stuff or whatever so it seems like there is a problem loading that file this is why i would like to use the uh, get template directory get template directory and we'll make sure that i'm pointed to the correct folder no matter what happened okay now if i do refresh look what happened i'm having my hello world and the output of this url is a pdf file which is really amazing and so far we could stop this video right here but i would like to really extend it a bit more by generating an html file so you may say oh we could do like p uh, hello whatever hello mohammed but this actually won't work. Look what happened. It will be treated as a text. And this is why there is another class that we need to use. You could just Google it. Do PDF or FPDF HTML. And it will show me this right HTML. So simply go ahead and drag all these functions. Not this one actually. No, no, not this one, not this one. But this one. Where the heck is it? Must be a class somewhere. Oh, not this URL. I'm sorry for that. Uh, right, if PDF. Yep, this one. And there you go. You just drag, copy the entirety of this class, place it somewhere into your code. In my case, I did the place it. I forget where I did place it actually. So I'll just create a new file here and I call it PDF HTML. So PDF html.php and simply paste that code right there make sure to start that stuff right there okay also uh, we need to pay attention to the importing order because here the fpdf or this pdf html actually extended from the fpdf so fpdf must be loaded before this execution of this class okay so moving back to functions.php and where we did require once I would like to actually require another file that will be fpdf and it will be html 
pdf.php pdf html or html pdf sorry pdf whatever dot php okay just make sure that everything is fine now if i do refresh my page hopefully there will, there will be no any issue perfect okay now i move back to this examples and I'll simply drag the entirety again of this stuff so instead of arranging and all this bullshit just paste that and you should be good to go now if I do refresh this one look what happened I'm having a very beautiful unstyled uh, output so now I, I can go ahead and make things more advanced between <laughs> between two quotes the word advanced and create an output folder or uh, folder i mean variable called html for example and we could um i don't know kind of uh, start doing the html stuff so i could do uh, p right here lowercase p and we could do a span and we could say uh, a name all right and we could say strong right here okay then we could concatenate or we'll make sure let's use the string interpolation uh, I like it more so I cannot do that this is PHP this is PHP you idiot okay so here how do you set name or dollar get name come on this is an extra that okay just do name what's wrong uh, okay so what about defining all these variables so name it will equal to dollar get okay let me just duplicate this for the, so this will be the name this will be the message or the email before that and let me just rename this one email and um, this will be for example the subject and this one will be the subject too and finally the message i believe so it will be the message right here perfect we could just make sure that we did submit everything so we have the name the email and everything look fine now we could build our html so start by doing the name here and let me just put this away for some reason it does not format the html when it's inside uh, the double quotes okay anyway okay so here i could add a br br and another one right here and like so great and we have name we have the email we have also the subject and don't forget the subject right here and the last thing is the message okay what about defining the message right here the order doesn't really count here because we are explaining this stuff message perfect dude okay so HTML equal all that stuff and we could simply remove this line and override it with our generated HTML now if I do refresh something went wrong more information an expected server response right uh, something went wrong what's going on here um, a few moments later okay so the solution I found is to do things line by line I don't know why but really weird stuff okay i did not expect this video to be this long so this will be the subject and doing the dollar subject right here this will be um let's go ahead this will be the message message okay this will be dollar message and let's stop right there so all is good this is weird so there's added the br right there another br right here and there you go so we're having um html output let's add it finally not the message but let's go ahead and add it. the email right here let's just reverse this order email come on dude and after the email we'll be inserting the dollar email perfect 
now everything is fine okay that's it guys i think this will be really useful for a lot of people out there please don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are not to thumb up this video to share it especially that people get this knowledge and if you are interested in any of my courses you could find a beautiful coupons in the description of this video um what else are at the end of this video please check out my other videos you will find a good stuff uh, and uh, see you in another one take care